Good evening. Welcome to Jim Munley's World of Weather. I clicked on to the long range weather forecast discussion for July 25th to August 6th. July 25th to 29th, low and two flows forecast across the nation. The westerlies remain across the northern U.S. And a ridge forecast over the southwest or over the southwest into central southern plains with above normal heights across much of the nation. A front extended from the southern plains into the mid Atlantic will cause rain and storms, and also from the northern plains into the, Miss into the middle Mississippi Valley. Diurnal activity is forecast across southeast to the Gulf Coast. Monsoonal moisture is spread in the southwest and portion of the Rockies. And with the above normal heights, we're expecting above normal temperatures for much of the nation. For July 28th to August 1st, Period the 28th, we still have our ridge here. We have a trough building here across Alaska. We also have a trough here near the Aleutians. But still near to above normal heights across much of the nation. Here's the center of the ridge. The west seas remain to the north. During this, ad, the, I would just like to say the miles in good agreement. We're going to go now to August 1st. You see there's a little change, possibly a week developing here across um, the northeast but um, generally expecting above normal temperatures for much of the nation and I'll show you the map uh, above normal temperatures are forecast for much of the nation here with the norms of 2 to 10 degrees above normal the uncertainty lies here due to a possibility of the trough for precipitation uh, below normal precipitation forecast for the northwest for the central and western Gulf Coast states and above normal precipitations forecast for parts of the four corners. <clears throat> now for the period for August 2nd to the 6th. Here at the 2nd, and then we see a development of a trough here across on the Great Lakes in Northeast. We have a ridge in the West. We have a trough here building over Alaska and north of Alaska. And this is the GFS. This is because the only model is showing this. We're going to go now to the six. And the trough is a little weaker, but still evidence of a weak trough here across this region. And then we look at the ensembles. This has a weak, a weak trough here. Here's our ridge building across the northwest and western Canada. And then we look at the rest of the models, European ensembles, weaker with the trough. And um, here's the Canadian. And then we look at the climate forecast system. This has um, a weak trough here, very weak flow. And here's the center of the ridge across this area. And it weakens a little bit to 591. So during this forecast period, I am forecasting above normal temperatures again for much of the area with anomalies of 2 to 8 degrees above normal and below normal temperatures here with anomalies of 2 to 4 degrees below normal for precipitation. Call for above normal, below normal precipitation for the northwest northern Rockies and also for the Gulf Coast states and the southeast. And we have above normal precipitation forecast for portions of the southern Rockies and for the upper Mississippi Valley into the Ohio Valley. So that is a long range weather forecast discussion for July 25th through August 6th. Thanks for coming, Jim, on this world of weather and have a good day.